Penguins come in all sizes and in, well, some shapes. The most unusual of the 20 or so species, jury still out on their exact taxonomy, are the crested penguins, which sport a wreath of bright yellow feathers on their heads. One of these species is called the macaroni penguin. What an unusual name, you might say. After all, who would name a penguin after a type of pasta? To explain this, let's go back a few hundred years, to 18th century England to be precise, a time of young, fashionable men known as dandies. Dandies were known for their extravagant attire, including flamboyant wigs so huge that a hat could only be placed on them with the tip of a sword. These fashionable young men, if they were rich enough, would go on a so-called grand tour, visiting various places in Europe in search of art, culture, and roots of Western civilization. In today's language, they went on a gap year. During the Grand Tour, the dandies developed a taste for the exotic, new, and of course, highly trendy food, the tubular pasta from Italy called macaroni. All of a sudden, everything in vogue was so macaroni, and the dandies themselves, with their huge wigs, fashionable clothes, and subtle palettes, became known as the macaroni club. The word also comes up in the song Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his cap and called it macaroni. The song dates back to the 18th century and was originally used by the Brits to ridicule the poorly dressed American soldiers. The naive Yankee, who had aspirations but lacked the means, believed that sticking a mere feather in his hat would guarantee him a chic macaroni status. The Americans did not seem to take offense, however, as they have adopted Yankee Doodle as one of their patriotic songs. And what about the penguins? The macaroni penguins were first described in the Falkland Islands in 1837, a time when dandies were still very macaroni. Since the yellow crested bird looked like a more flamboyant version of a regular penguin, it gained the name macaroni. Could we do the same thing today? Imagine an animal with very prominent facial hair being named after a food popularized by today's hipsters. Instead of the bearded pig, we could have a kale pig or a quinoa pig. Use the comment section below to share your own hip animal names.